Oh, we're back. That's right. Package day. Oh, good times. Good times. Let's get this thing open and take a peek. What's inside? Oh, man. If you only knew. Well, you probably read the description. So there's a chance that you do know. Let's see what the consistency of the rock rooster boot is because I got one pair. See out there? I got two pairs. Let's see how similar they built they are. Because they're supposed to be the same boot. That's what we got. I was so impressed with the boots I bought last year, I went ahead and ordered two more of the exact same pair. And I'll show you why. Well, while we're sitting here. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the old boots. They still work, they're fine, relatively speaking. I got mud on the tail on that one. <laughs> but, you know, hey, we got socks. We got extra shoelaces. We got a little tiny boot keychain. Still got that one. All right. Get this out of the way. Oh, it was like, <laughs> oh man, <laughs> things are going well. And I'm going to explain to you why I did what I did here. We got boots, laces, we got socks, we got keychains. And you're like, what do you used to be boots for? Well, I'll tell you why. Because they sell them cheaper when you buy two pairs. <laughs> you get half off the second pair when you buy two pair uh, during Black Friday. And what I really wanted was one pair, but, you know, you're getting half price. Eventually, I'll get around to wearing the other pair. So, let's take a look at these, see how they're doing. Yeah, a little mark there, not bad. Looking good, looking good. Let's check out this one. I'm just looking for anything that looks inconsistent in the construction of the product. And I'm not seeing any like glaring red light, flashing warning signs, you know? Yeah, I read some reviews and people were crying about certain things and I don't know if it was just a one-off fluke for them or how it worked out. You know, I've held three of these in my hands and I've seen pretty good, pretty good consistency in the, uh, in what we're getting here. All right. So let's talk about my old boots. Uh, six months of solid wear. The boots are a year old, but I sustained an arm injury. So I have not been wearing these for a little bit. The only thing that has happened to these boots is I stuck a razor blade right there and I cut the leather. I did that, and that bothers me like when I wear these out in public. I don't mind the worn look on them, but that razor blade bothers me. And then uh, I got a little bit of, oops, sorry, I hit the camera with my head, a little bit of heel cup wear because I don't tighten these up. I think that's on me, only in one shoe. But uh, the, the Christy Vibrams, they're a little dirty. Yeah, they wear kind of quick. I think what I might do with these when I wear them out is uh, belt sand them flat and uh, adhere some new soles all, just all by myself. I just watched a video of a guy doing that in a cobbler, and I might just do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's got the the Vibram Christie's. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think these do squeak a little bit when you first get them. I think I got a little bit of a squeaky squeak if I remember right. It's, uh, but it went away, you know. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Am I, still in, am I still in frame here? Yeah, I think I am. The only thing I don't understand is like they changed the, where's the box? What do they call this thing? So they're calling these six inch now. And I'm pretty sure that said seven inch when I bought them last year. I don't know what's up with that, but they're the, what, the same height? Oh yeah. Yeah. Whatever, once I get inside. What was another one someone said they got a pair of shoes with no insole? <laughs> That's less than convenient, but not unfixable. All right, we got an insole in that one. We got an insole now. I forgot to check earlier. Good. And yeah, we got insoles. So let's see, there's stuff with something in here. We got a bunch of paper packing. Is that it? All right. I don't know if I pulled this insole out last time. When I, I, did, I did an unboxing video. Some leather crumbs in there. That is a pretty stout insole. That's that pour on. 
see if the tag is any different from year to year. A nine and a half inch Norwood family VAP one six AP two one oh two nine so two G. That's all the same. Yeah, it's looking the exact same. Looking at the exact same. I don't see anything different. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything different. <laughs> I really don't see anything different. They look like the same, same stinking boots. And I like them. I mean, this is, if you wonder if I like these boots, I think this is the answer right here. Now I'm gonna put one of these pair back in the box and it's gonna get saved for a rainy day. Many, many years down the road, most likely. But uh, yeah, I like them, you know? Obviously, I know that's crazy right there, but uh, you know these boots are still good to go. I'm still wearing them. Warm the other day, that's why they're muddy. Still rock. I just, that cut right there really bothered me, and I was like, I need to get a replacement pair that doesn't have the cut, because I do like to wear these boots when I go out in public. So I was like, I'm just gonna pick me up a pair to wear casually, and then because of the deal going on, Nothing's getting cheaper. Strike while the iron's hot. Got a second pair. I'm good to go. I don't know if this... Yeah, it's probably the same color welt. This is a decorative stitch here, the second stitch. I don't know if I covered that in our previous video. That is decorative only. Not waterproof, in case you're hoping them to be waterproof. They're not going to be waterproof. Ask me how I know. But yeah, I mean, cool. Good to go. Boots for days, kids. Boots for days. There you go. Get yourself some uh, fancy boots, I guess. I don't even really know. I, I, I don't know the answer. Like, I kept watching videos about which boots and what's the best boot. And the boot and the boot and the boot. And this is the boot and the boot and the boot. That, 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 that. And it's like, that's the only problem I got. And that's the name brand, Vi Vibram, Vibram, whatever. I, I say it wrong. People get bad in the comments. That's going to wear out no matter what your upper is. Spend $700 on an upper and your, and your soul's going to wear out. I, I, the only thing I can come up with is if you spend enough on your upper, it justifies the expensive cost to take them to a cobbler to have the soles put back on. Because it costs about 100 bucks, I think, to get soles put on. Maybe a little less. Depends on where you live. Well, if you're only 100 bucks in on the boot, which none of these boots I paid over $100 for, does it make your boot disposable? Like, I could resole these. You could take that and have that resold. I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to these questions. All I know is, like, that boot is solid. That is a solid boot. I'm loving it, and that is what I'm doing. And you do what you do what you want to do, but I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Socks. <laughs> I got socks too. All right, I've ranted long enough. I don't know how many more rock rooster boot <laughs> videos I'm gonna make. I really don't want to buy any more rock roosters for a while. Like, yeah, th I just whatever. Maybe it was an impulse buy type of a thing. It happens to the best of us, but like, I love the boot. In life, when you find something you like, just get it all in. You're good to go. As long as I keep like the critters from chewing them, they'll, the second pair will be ready to go in a year or two or three or whatever, whenever I get around to it. And You know, these will probably end up turning into like maybe concrete boots or something, like super bomber boots. And then eventually these ones will turn into work boots, you know, and then eventually these will become casual boots. So, yeah, I don't know, whatever. I just... I don't know what to say about much of any of it other than I'm happy with them. I, not, I have not had anything in the manufacturing of the boot be an issue. There's one little scuff there. That's, that's all I see is that one little scuff, but that's not going to be a problem at all because they eventually will look like that. I need to put some oil on these too. Yeah, I know. Boot abuse. He's a boot abuser. If you're, if you're here looking at this video shopping, I don't know what to tell you, man. I really don't know what to say. I'm not trying to persuade anybody to do anything. You know, the reviews are what they are. Some people say, stay away. They're the worst. Some people say, best boot they ever had their entire life. I think it's all relative to your own personal experience. And my experience is, uh, I'm happy. That makes me happy. These, these are good boots. There's nothing wrong with them. Unless you have an issue of the part of the world where they were manufactured, that would be the only thing. And uh, unfortunately, that's out of my control. Stuff gets made where it gets made. I'm on planet Earth, living my life. That's what I'm wearing. 
Stay safe.